Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. Welcome back to Real Crypto. Thank you for joining me again today. All right, we are going to be talking something a little bit different because these, uh, to be quite frank with you, these intermediate Bitcoin videos saying the same thing over and over again is getting a little boring. So I'm going to do this video and I'm going to have a follow up video. I'm going to have a follow up video, less on psychology, more on the charts. But I do want to break the, I do want to talk about psychology definitively in its own video. So look out for my next video as well. All right, so psychology. Right now in the Bitcoin market, let's take let's take a peek back here. Let's take a peek back here. Bitcoin market has a huge run up to 20,000, drop down to 6,000. And right now, right now we've run up 100% and we're waiting for this cup with handle pattern to, to break out into new highs. I am of the understanding, after going back and reviewing some of my my trading books and and reading some things I read, pretty much everybody in the Bitcoin market is waiting for Bitcoin to break out. Everyone in the market is waiting for Bitcoin to break out of this cup with handle pattern. And from my analysis, I personally believe that the 11,775 high which is this high, the left side of the cup. If that level is not broken, Bitcoin um, is doomed uh, probably another huge leg down. Another huge leg down. And I'm going to go over that scenario in the other video. Okay? I'm going to go over that scenario in the other video. But why? Why is that? Okay? Why if we don't get above this key level are we doomed to go lower? Now, it's not that we're doomed to go lower. We don't have to go lower. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, markets can do anything on any given day. Okay? Anything on any given day. However, however, from a psychological perspective, I believe you have four different kinds of people in the Bitcoin market. You have the people that invested early, basically pre-$2,000 Bitcoin. Okay? Pre-$2,000 Bitcoin. I'm, I'm going to lump all those people into one person. Okay? just for brevity's sake. I'm going to lump all those people into one category. And then I'm going to, the second category, which includes myself, is the people that got involved mid-2017. Okay? Kind of mid, mid, you know, second, third quarter 2017. And kind of saw, you know, started to see the huge run up. And then the people that got involved late 2017, kind of, you know, late November, or December time frame. Okay? And then the fourth group of people is the people that have yet to enter the Bitcoin market that are standing on the sidelines, maybe waiting to buy, maybe just interested but not ready to buy. Okay, so four groups of people. The first group of people are your true hodlers. Those are the people that have Bitcoin from a long time ago, that have been believers in Bitcoin for a long time, and are literally holding Bitcoin and are probably not going to sell no matter what this market does, and may or may not buy based on this breakout. Okay, they may or may not buy. Maybe they're happy with their Bitcoin positions. Maybe they maybe they buy regularly. Maybe there's some of the people that buy all the time. And I hope there's a lot of people that buy Bitcoin regularly. The, the second group of people, like myself, we've seen the parabolic run in Bitcoin, and some of us have seen, well, some of us have been through this large drop. Whether you sold up here towards the highs and have been, you know, anticipating this large drop, you know those people watching my channel for a long time, you know that I've been saying this parabolic run is going to come into a big bear market and that has come to pass. And this video and my subsequent my subsequent video are going to take that a bit of a bit of a step further now that we're at this particular place in the market cycle. Okay? Now, those late people, those pe late people to the market either are holding losses sold out already or, I, don't know, I guess those are your two scenarios, but you have those late people in the markets that have been whipsawed. They've been mentally whipsawed for two and three months now. Now, everyone, when we topped 20,000, had an opinion whether this was going to be a bear market or not. Most people, and I say most people because I was one of the only people calling for a bear market um, above this 13,000 level. Okay, I was one of the only people calling for this bear market. So I saw it in the comments. I saw it in the conversations I was having with people. Everyone thought we were going to turn around and go higher. Okay, that was not the case. 
That was not the case. We did not turn around and go higher. We broke lower. And then still people were a little bit hopeful that we would stay above 10,000. All right, guys, we're coming up to 10,000. We're going to bounce higher. Didn't happen. When we broke 10,000, that's when you saw everyone really start to think that Bitcoin could go much lower. And that's when you saw Bitcoin 5,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Okay? Up here, everyone was still talking Bitcoin 30, 35,000. And then pretty much somewhere between the 12,000 and 10,000 level. Okay? You saw people start to think differently. And then when we broke 10,000, everybody was bearish. Everybody was bearish. That's the psychology of market trends. Okay? People don't believe it. They don't believe it. They kind of believe it. They kind of believe it. Then they really believe it. Then they really believe it. Then the market reverses on them. Now we're at a place in the market where everyone is hoping that Bitcoin goes higher. All of these people psychologically are in the same place now. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like psychologically everyone is hoping that Bitcoin breaks out of this cup with handle. They're just hoping for it. No one's putting money to work. No one's necessarily buying um, large blocks of Bitcoin, okay? We all have plans to buy. Hell, I even have a plan to buy if we break above this 11,775 level. Everyone has a plan to buy something. Every analyst out there. Now, there's a few that are pointing, that are, that are pointing bearish. There's a few that are pointing bearish, but, a, but that doesn't get you views on YouTube, <laughs> okay? I've been a YouTuber now for a while. I have 32,000 subscribers. I, I have a feeling for what gets you views on YouTube. My best videos that I've done have been bullish videos. Nobody wants to watch a video about a bearish scenario because maybe you're going to watch that video and go away. You guys may watch my next video and just go away, <laughs> okay? And that doesn't, doesn't bode well for my YouTube views. But that's not why I'm here, okay? I'm here to provide you with real analysis on the markets. And I'm here to train you guys. I want to train you guys. So... Right now, everyone's hoping that Bitcoin goes higher. No one's actively buying Bitcoin, anticipating that we're going higher. Everyone's hoping. Everyone's really scared and remembers this drop. And everyone remembers this run-up and this drop and this run-up. You guys are tired. Guys, the market's tired. Everyone is hopeful. And every time you get hopeful and then your hope, your hope is dashed, you just get mentally exhausted, okay? And if you guys remember my videos, I've got lots of videos on the Bitcoin 2013 scenario playing out. I've got lots of videos that I mentioned there's a point in time when we're going to when we're we're going to break to the upside and have a good rally and then possibly fizzle over. Okay? That fizzle happens because of hope. That fizzle happens because everyone is hoping something's going to happen and it never does because no one makes it happen. All right? No one makes it happen. So Right now in the market, this is a hope-based market. Psychologically, those hodlers, those early adopters, they're still hodling. Maybe they're maybe they're buying in here a little bit, but they're not going to go in and, and double their account at Bitcoin right now. They're not going to do that. They're hodling from way down low. They have, you know, 10,000% gains. If they invest here for another double, what do they care? They don't care. They're not going to do that. Then you have the people like me, those second-generation Bitcoiners, the mid-2017ers, that we're waiting for this to break out. We we know the cycle, okay? And well, I guess I'm a little different. I've been trading stocks for 15 years. I really know these cycles. There's a lot of people that, that know that Bitcoin can bust and go bull, so they're waiting here. They're waiting for the pattern to play out. They're being more disciplined. And then you have these late 2017ers that have been whipsawed around in their in their most recent buy of their new shiny Bitcoin, and they're tired. They don't know what whether they can trust the market or not here. They don't know that. They may have never invested in anything before in their lives. Their first foray into investing may have been Bitcoin, and they've just got their ass handed to them more than likely. A vast majority of them um, are sitting in losses, and the other half have probably already taken their losses and gotten out of the markets. But those people are jaded. Psychologically, they're hurt right now. So... It's going to take a big push above this 11,775 for this market psychologically to become a little more healthy, a little more healthy. We have one push to the upside. This is one big push to the upside. Now we have what's called a first stage base. Okay. This has less to do with psychology, more about general trading, but this first stage base, um, 
if it doesn't break out, the market's not, the market can't break out. The market can't break out. You're not going to float higher from here. This hope phase of the market is going to get dashed as people sell off more and more and more. And that's pretty much what happened in Bitcoin 2013. I'm not going to do the TA here, okay? But I'm just going to show you. This is where we are. Cup with handle. And then everybody was hopeful up here and then it just failed, okay? So that's my psychology read on the, on the current market. We're stuck in a hope cycle. Hope does not bring buyers. Hope brings waiters. You're waiting. I'm waiting. Everyone's waiting. Okay, we need buying pressure. We need volume here. If we get a big, nice green volume bar to the upside, breaking 11,775, game is on in Bitcoin. Game is on. However, if we don't get that, if we don't get that volume influx, it's going to be very, very difficult um, for Bitcoin to stay bullish. So I'm going to stop that video here, ladies and gentlemen. That is the psychology of where we are in the markets. Um, if you're interested in my subsequent video of my kind of deep dive into 2013 versus here, look for that follow-up video. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time.